Let us talk about impact craters. This segment is 66 and you are watching my cosmology series of talks. Impact craters are geologic structures formed when a large meteoroid, asteroid or comet smashes into a planet or a satellite. All the inner bodies in our solar system have been heavily bombarded by meteoroids throughout their history. The surfaces of the Moon, Mars and Mercury where other geological processes stopped millions of years ago record the bombardment clearly. On the Earth, however, which has been even more heavily impacted than the Moon, craters are continually erased by erosion and redeposition as well as by volcanic resurfacing and tectonic activity. Thus, only about 120 terrestrial impact craters have been recognized the majority in geologically stable cratons of North America, Europe and Australia where most exploration has taken place. Spacecraft orbital imagery has helped to identify structures in more remote locations for further investigations. Meteor Crater, also known as Barringer Crater in Arizona, I visited in 2009. It is huge huge amazing so Barringer crater in Arizona was the first recognized terrestrial impact crater it was identified in the 1920s by workers who discovered fragments of the meteorite impactor within the crater itself several other relatively small craters were also found to contain impact or fragments for many years, these remnants were the only accepted evidence for impact origin. However, scientists have come to realize that pieces of the impactor often do not survive the collision intact. I got a video for you on the impact crater and I let you see. When a meteorite collides with the moon, the massive impact leaves a dish-shaped crater on the surface of the satellite. Rocks in this area are propelled upwards and eventually form a wall around the crater. Some of the larger rocks fall back onto the satellite's surface with a huge impact, forming smaller craters around the initial impact crater.